Canadian vapors are calling on the federal government to reverse course on a flavor ban, saying it's helping smokers quit and stay that way. Uh, smoking uh, probably just over a pack a day um, when I turned uh, 22, um, so it's about 10 years ago now, and uh, that's when I discovered uh, vaping. Uh, Chris Felgate runs Small Town Buds Smoke and Vape Shop in Devon. He tells me like a lot of folks, he started smoking cigarettes at a very young age, but vaping helped him kick the habit, and he wasn't the only one. My wife as well quit, uh, quit smoking. Uh, both my parents quit smoking. Um, my grandma quit smoking. She started smoking when she was 11. She's uh, in her 80s. Anti-smoking and vaping advocates point to data that says underage children are enticed by flavored vaping products and easily accessible display cases. The province has already made the move to restrict the display and marketing of vaping products in convenience stores. Felgate agrees, saying that's where kids are targeted, but says vape shops like his aren't the problem. In our, in our vape store, you have to be 18 to enter. That means you have to be an adult. Felgate and vape store owners across the country have sent a petition to Health Canada to reverse course. He says he expects the ban to be announced next month and implemented at the beginning of next year. Is this going to um, hurt our industry and put a ton of people out of work um, after COVID has already kind of hurt everybody and every economy? Um, but it's also, like I said, a way that is telling citizens that, hey, if, if you want easy access to harm reduction, um, the government's not going to give that to you. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.